Hello, and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. This is a preview of something that's coming, so get excited. I'm gonna be posting a link in the video description because yes, there is gonna be channel merch available. It already is somewhat available, so you guys should check it out. But that is in the link, so check the video description. Okay, not the purpose of this video. I'm here today to talk about METARs because sometimes they look a little maybe wonky. Like, like this METAR, for example, the other day I was out on a run and I observed a very interesting phenomenon going on at my home airport. And then I was checking the METAR and there was a Spessy METAR that had come out just right at the time that I observed this phenomenon. And you will see it says, yeah, the wind's calm, five miles visibility, and the RVR on runway 13 is 2,200 variable to 3,500 with mist, broken clouds at 100 feet. Altimeter, or sorry, temperature 20, 2.19 or Celsius, altimeter 3003. Okay. And if you want to do the remark decode and go watch that video. What I'm here to talk about, is there something wrong with this METAR? Like, how can we have, for example, the visibility, say, 5 is pretty good. It's fine, really. Uh, and the runway 13 has RVR of, like, less than half a mile. Or even the previous METAR, if you look at this, uh, it was 10 miles. This is the 1216 Zulu observation, 10 miles. But the RVR on runway 13 is 2,800, variable with greater than 6,000 feet visibility. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, but this is an absolutely perfect example where we can talk about how these coding groups actually happen. And for that, I'm going to actually go to the FAA's Aviation Weather Handbook because it is a fantastic source. You know, if you want to print it out one, you can buy one with the affiliate link that's coming up. Check it out. I get a small mini, mini, mini cut if you buy it with my link, whatever. Or you can just download the PDF, which is kind of like what I do. So we have a visibility. This is always going to be reported. And according to the FAA, Aviation Weather Handbook, it says that the prevailing visibility is looking at the greatest distance that can be seen throughout at least half of the horizon circle, not necessarily continuous. Okay, but then the next part of the same exact page says we have the RVR. The RVR is reported whenever the equipment and prevailing visibility is one statue mile or less and or the RVR for the designated instrument runway is 6,000 feet or less. Okay, so in both of those examples I showed you, the prevailing visibility was way more than one mile. But because the RVR for one runway was less than 6,000 feet, then they started reporting it. So, so again, uh, you might be saying, well, how is this happening? Now, I want to show you the pictures that I took. This was just a couple days ago. And here is the road that actually it's the airport perimeter road because I have a badge. I can go on runs and walks. This was a run. I went out and did six miles and I was running back and I was like, wow, that is a perfect example where we have the RVR sensor is actually in this mist area, this low lying area that is kind of like right on runway one three. And I can show another picture I took the same day um, where we can see most of the airport is actually clear, but then as you turn the bend in this road, this is a pano, so it looks a little bit weird. Uh, as you turn the bend in the road, then you go around the tree corner, you actually can see where that visibility is extremely, extremely poor. And I will try to indicate where the RVR sensor actually is. If you look closely, you can see the tower kind of poking out actually from it. Um, and so the tower actually had prevailing visibility of way more than just 2,200 RVR. They had five miles prevailing visibility. But yeah, there is nothing wrong with the METAR. It is just that sometimes in the mornings you get this fog area that's very close to the ground. We got this ground fog patchy area. And then um, you get a area where it's right on the RVR sensor where most of the airport is clearly VFR, but some of it is not. So hopefully you like that mini bite.
for more on METARs, please watch the METAR video series. Um, you can check out my cool merch stuff. I actually started designing various designs. So if you're into dispatch and all kinds of aviation geekery, check it out. And I'm going to be showing more of that in later videos. But for now, check out the METAR video series I posted a while back. Keep looking at those METARs, keep reading, keep practicing. Have a great day from Aviation 101 with Laura.